For one year, I traveled around South America to create my best time-lapse video yet. This is how it went down. It's a new episode and it's a new country. Uh, lately I've felt a bit that my time lapses have lacked a bit of the green color that I think of when I think of South America. So I think Ecuador is the perfect country to fix that problem. Right now I'm in Quilotoa and this is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the country and you'll soon see why. This is the famous Quintoloa volcanic crater. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm doing a bit of scouting here. I'm gonna stay here for a couple of days and I'm right now setting up a, a quick time lapse and hopefully we'll get a little bit better conditions uh, later today or tomorrow. Quilotoa is an old volcanic crater which last had an eruption about 600 years ago. The crater is at almost 4,000 meters above the sea level and is a popular attraction for both local and foreign tourists. about this place is that the accommodation is literally on the uh, edge of the crater like right here so I don't have to walk for uh, a long distance in order to catch the sunrise like I have been for the past few locations where I have to wake up at 2 a.m. in order to walk up uh, here uh, I can wake up like 10 minutes before I have to be here and uh, just chill create some ripples and waves on the water. I'm hoping that it might be a bit more quiet during the day so that I can get a nice reflection in the lake. But anyway, it's not a big problem because I'm so far away from the lake so that the waves uh, will create some like, cool movement in my time-lapse. But some reflections will be cool as well. weather is absolutely beautiful today, uh, the sun is out which really brings out the colors in the lake, the greens and the blues and now I'm walking down towards the lake in order to get a bit of a different perspective. You know, I didn't expect to see those kind of colors in a lake, in a volcanic crater 4,000 meters above the sea level. Today is the 17th of May, which is a very important day for us Norwegians. It's 
our national day and we take our national day very seriously so cheers That's it for Kilotoa. I've had a couple of really productive days here. I think I've taken about 13,000 pictures, 25 different time lapses uh, in the past couple of days, and they all look pretty good. So the colors have been amazing, the weather was fantastic, so I'm really satisfied. Now it's time to head to another place in Ecuador, which is very different from this. The Ecuadorian landscape consists of three main parks. Uh, that is the Andes mountain range, uh, which is where I just were. In the east, you have the jungle, the Amazon, and to the west, you have the coast. And that's where I am right now. I'm at the beaches, and I'm gonna try to do a little bit of time lapsing here over the next few days. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to do uh, because uh, time lapsing beaches are uh, it's, it's very difficult, so I'll see what I, I come up with, uh, but anyway, this is a very beautiful area. It's a really cool beach, it's called Playa Negra, or the Black Beach, and this is why the sand here is it's really black and it's really cool and it's so fine and right now I'm here all alone and I'm setting up a time lapse here and yeah it's pretty amazing It's a great sunset to finish off my stay here on the coast of Ecuador. Um, it's been a couple of difficult days here, it's been mostly grey and beaches are very difficult to time lapse. But I still have one more location here in South America where I'm gonna film some beaches and hopefully time lapse them really well uh, because I think I need that for my final film. To finish off this episode, I thought I would show you an experience that I had the other day which was really cool when I went scuba diving. So enjoy that and I'll see you in the next episode.
in the next episode I continue my adventure around Ecuador. This time I go deep into the forest.